Hey guys, before we jump into this video, I just want to say that only 4.3% of you are subscribed. So if you really want to help the channel grow and hopefully get to 2000 subs, make sure to click subscribe. And if you enjoy this video, make sure to like. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and Black Ops Cold War Season 2 is here. And in this video, I actually want to go over the new changes that they brought out to zombies. So this doesn't include the Outbreak event itself. It just it includes the skills and perks upgrades. Um, and we're going to go over like the tier 4 and 5 prestiges, the new Frenzy Guard, um, wand ability and things like that so if you want to check out my other videos looking at maps looking at the battle pass anything to do with that have a look at my channel i'm going to have loads of content today for uh the season two so straight in we will start with skills and we will start with weapon classes there is two classes that have been added launchers and specials so literally those two weapon classes that we didn't really have anything for before they are pretty similar so you can see both of these increased damage to special elites increased bonus damage to enemy armor 25 percent to tech ammo fired from stock sorry 25 then launchers increased bonus damage to draw to special elite enemies and for the oh for the special it's actually the same but it's increases rather than increase uh, then the tier 5 is increased bonus damage to enemy armor by 25%. And then for the other challenges, you can see that they've added a few different upgrades as well. So submachine guns and most of the other weapons increase close quarter bonus damage 25% and increase critical hit bonus damage 25%. Except for tactical rifles, which is long shots, tactical rifles and snipers armor penetration. Then the melee, which is increased primary melee weapon bonus damage to 25%. And for tier 5, melee damage heals you a small amount. That sounds OP. The knife is really a, a standout weapon in this COD. That is very nice. Next up, we've got the field upgrades. So obviously, these all upgrade to tier 4 and 5. So first, let's look at friendly, Frenzy Guard. So the actual description itself, force all enemies in the area to target you for 10 seconds. Armor takes all damage during this time. So that seems sick. Um, okay, so I, tier one activation repairs your armor to full. That's OP. Tier two enemies you kill repair 10% of your armor. That's pretty sick. Normal enemies explode after hitting you. I'm not sure how that works. Then tier four, increased duration to 15 seconds. Okay. And then five normal enemies are slowed to walk speed while active. And I think that's within a certain radius, just to be clear. Okay, so frost blast tier four and five. So increased maximum charges to three. Mad. Um, normal enemies are froze for five seconds and insta killed while damaged. Okay, frost blast, kind of cool. Energy mine. Um, Enemies damaged by the blast have their armor destroyed. That's cool. Uh, mine detonates three times in rapid succession. That's kind of mad. Ether stride. Tier four is increased movement speed while it's shrouded. And then tier five is maximum charges of two. <clears throat> That's kind of a game changer. So you have one to protect yourself and one to revive if needed. Healing Aura, so tier 4, allies revive, keep all perks on their decay meter. Wow. Um, and 5, beams persist as their initial locations continue to heal for 10 seconds. Okay, I don't, I don't get that. Then Ring of Fire, um, tier 4, burn effect has a small chance to end skill, very nice. And then 5, ring... Duration, burn effect, damage, and insta kill chance increase all damage the longer the player is inside. Wow, okay, so these tier 4 and 5 of the field upgrades are kind of crazy. Next, let's get into the perks. So, Tombstone, the tier 4 and 5 respawn near the end of the round instead of the beginning of the next round. Very nice. And then 5, prevent 
Perk DK went down. Tombstone Soda is always lost when down. That's a game changer. Okay. Juggernog. Armor increased by 25%. And then instead of getting down on a lethal hit, armor is depleted and health is reduced to 1. So you have like an ultra... Like an ultra red screen. That's incredible. Okay, speed cooler. Repair barricades faster. The mystery box saddles much faster. Wow. Fire and reload while sprinting at full speed. <clears throat> that is actually sick. Okay, so tier 4 or 5 is crazy. Um, quick revive tier 4 or 5. Reviving an ally will increase both players' movement speed for a limited time. Wow. Killing an enemy while down will revive you and remove the quick revive perk. So that's like uh, the thing out of Borderlands. Okay, that's quite cool. Wow. So... Stamina up, use equipment while sprinting. Uh, remove sprint speed fall off. Wow. Elemental pop, this was a big thing for me. So tier 4, increase enemy elemental weakness damage by 50%. Okay, that's fine. Then, tier 5 is electric cherry. Reloading creates an electric damage, discharge damage, and stuns nearby normal enemies. The more empty the magazine, the stronger the damage. Thank you. Thank you. I am so excited. Then Deadshot Daiquiri Tier 4. Increased critical bonus damage 10%. And then 5. Each consecutive hit on the same enemy deals 2% more damage to a maximum of 20%. Guys, these Tier 4 and 5 perks are going to be crazy. And then last but not least, we've got the Ammo Mod. So Shattered Blast was a new one that was added. And the description is Bullet Deals... Bullets deal explosive damage. Each bullet has a chance to explode, dealing additional explosive damage and destroying any impacted armor. 25 second cooldown. Tier 1, because this is new, I'll go over it. Explosion also deals damage to nearby enemies. Tier 2, all normal enemy armor damage by explosion is destroyed. Tier 3, normal enemies damaged by an explosion are knocked down. Tier 4, explosion size doubled. Tier 5, on explosion, 3 additional staggered explosions will occur in close proximity. 30 second cooldown. Not sure how them two cooldowns work together. <clears throat> Napalm burst, so tier 4 special enemies can be burned. Nice. Tier 5, something burning the enemy, the enemy explodes, spreading... On a burned enemy, kill the enemy explodes, spreading the burn. Okay, so... Kind of more like um, the one from Black Ops 3 and 4. Very nice. Deadwire. Special enemies can be stunned. Nice. And then tier 5. On a stun, arcs electricity jump and spread to the stun to stun 5 near enemies. So that's literally more like Deadwire. The OG Deadwire. Very nice. Then Cryo Freeze. Tier 3. Special enemies can be slowed. Sorry, that's, um, that's tier 4. Special enemies can be slowed. Then on Cryo 2... Tier 5, on a slowed enemy kill, the enemy shatter spread the slow effect, so it spreads again. Then, Brain Rot, Tier 4, special enemies can be turned. Then, Tier 5, on turned enemy death, the turned enemy explosion turns 3 nearby enemies. Holy crap. So yeah guys, if you didn't think you were OP before this... The perks and the ammo mods we really are op now this is incredible this is going to be crazy okay guys as always thanks for watching if you like the video make sure to like and yeah i'll see you in the next one